Okay, so now we're going to look at a partial quotient with a, with two digits, dividing by a two-digit divisor. So I chose 16. So what I need to do is I need to put 16 down in the cheat sheet. Sorry, I'm writing on my iPad here. And then we're going to start with something, start with the easy one. 2 times 16 is 32. So 20 times 16 is 320. And 200 times 16 is 3,000. 200. 10 times 16 is another easy one. That's 160. 10 times 6, 100 times 16 is then 1,600. The only one I tell the kids they have to think is the 5 times 16. So 5 times 16 is 80. And I also show them that um, math is patterns. So if we look at the 10 and the 5 here, 5 is half of 10. So that means the, re the product is going to be half of that. So half of 160 is 80. So they could do that. And then since they know 5 times 16 is 80, 50 times 16 is 800. OK, so I'm done with my cheat sheet. And I look over here and I say, OK, what number is um, close to 837 but not over? We're playing the prices right here and I see I have an 800. So how many 16's makes 800? Well that would be 50. So I put a 50 out here. 50 times 16 I already know is 800. And I'm going to get rid of a lot right now and I'm down to 37. Well I know right here 2 16's is 32. So I put a 2 out here and 32 and I get 5. Okay so right away my um, number right here is less than my divisor, so I know I'm done. I add up the numbers over here, so I get 52, remainder 5. I don't know if you remember, but when we were in, middle, in elementary school and middle school, long division, we kept having to figure out all of our 16 times tables and have a little area out on margin and 16 times 3, 16 times 4, 16 times 5. This... Um, makes us not have to do that. Over here with the cheat sheet we use numbers that we already know and we go from there. Okay, we'll do another problem here. 984 divided by 15. That means over in my cheat sheet I'm doing 15's. So 2 times 15 is 30 and 20 times 15 would be 300 and 200 times 15 would be 3000. 10 times 15 is 150 and 100 times 15 would be 1,500. Okay, and then 5 times 15, that's the only one I need to think about. I know that's 75, but also I tell kids that 5 is half of 10, so if they know what's half of 150, then they can come up with 75 as well. And then 50 times 15 would be 750. Okay, so my cheat sheet is done. Now I look over here, what number is close to but not over 700 or 984 and that would be right here 750 and how many 15s is that it is 50 so I put 50 over here and 50 times 15 is 750 and I subtract and I get 3 234 what number is close to but not over 234 that would be 150 and that's 10 15s so I do this, and just for sake I'll borrow like the kids do. So now I have 84, and what number is close to but not over? That would be 75, and that's 5 15s. So then I subtract, and I get 9. Okay, so this number is less than my divisor, so I know I need to stop. And then I add up these numbers and I get 65. So my answer is 65 remainder 9. I have attached some more problems that have already been finished that I did with some of your children in school. And there are three problems on here that you can look at and um, pause the video if you want to look how we did it. But there are um, three problems here a little bit more lengthy to uh, help you work out. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy learning something new today. Thank you.